the mouthpiece, the reed, the ligature, the horn itself come in all shapes and sizes. There are so many brands, there are so many varieties. And it's hard to know which one to choose. It's hard to know which one is the most appropriate. It's hard to know which one is for you. And these brands, these companies know that. So there is a market for them and people do spend their entire lives trying to find the best mouthpiece and the best ligature and the best reed and the best horn and spend thousands of dollars. Well, I'm just gonna give you a crash course on what all of these things mean and what is best for you. So number one, we start with our mouthpiece. Now mouthpieces come in all shapes and sizes. Like I said, we have metal ones, we have ebonite or hard rubber ones, plastic ones, even wooden mouthpieces. And they all give a different tone and a different texture. The opening tip of these mouthpieces, which is this part up here, this opening can determine a lot about how you sound and how small your sound is, how big your sound is, how difficult it is to play and how easy it is to play. Generally speaking, a big tip opening is going to be harder to play and it's going to require a softer read. And the vice versa is also true. A smaller tip opening is going to require a slightly harder read to get more resistance and produce a fuller tone. If you have a soft read with a small opening, it can actually cause problems with getting a bigger tone because it's so small and so soft that you can actually, it's so easy to press the reed up against the mouthpiece and not get a sound. This is a really important aspect of playing the saxophone. What is the most appropriate setup? My suggestion is a medium tip opening with a medium sized reed. A medium sized reed is anywhere between two and a half to three and a half. Uh, it can be different for a different company. Sometimes they just call their reeds medium and the medium tip opening should be indicated on the mouthpieces that you get. Some of them are called, they're numbered by six or seven of them. Some of them have a unique numbering. For example, this is a T75. So there's different ways of, of describing the mouthpieces. My suggestion would be to look up your mouthpiece and see what size your opening is. So I'm using this T75 with a Van Doren 3 reed. This is a ZZ, sometimes I use Java's. And this to me is a, a really great pairing. Finally, in order to keep the mouthpiece and reed secure, we need a ligature. Now, ligatures also come in all shapes and sizes. This is a generic ligature that you might get with your saxophone when you first buy it. And then I have my personal ligature, which is a Van Doren leather ligature that I like to use. Does the ligature change the tone a lot? I would say yes, but not as much as the mouthpiece itself. Generally speaking, you know, metal ligatures will create a sort of brighter sound and a leather ligature like this would create a sort of warmer, rounder sound. However, this is something that's arbitrary, something that generally speaking, most people won't notice. As a player, I think it's noticeable. I chose this Van Doren leather ligature over a whole variety of ligatures because I felt that it was rounder and warmer. But again, it's not the most vital part of the instrument. You can still get on fine with using the generic ligature that you get with your saxophone. What's more important than the slight tone variations that the ligature produces is actually the ability for the ligature to keep your reed securely fastened to your mouthpiece. And that's what we're gonna move on to next.